Greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I do hope you're having a great day. Today's video is going to be a video log. OK, so it's towards the end of January 2023. I can't believe January is almost gone already. Uh, that's just unbelievably quick. Um, it's I suppose it's good in one sense because at the moment I've just been in winter hibernation mode I'm doing so little at the moment which is typical of this time of year we have these cold grey dark skies and the land is always very wet this time of year and there's very little to do very little to see very few places to go um, but you may have noticed the footage um, I actually went out for a drive today so this is I, I guess a little bit of a drive in a natter or a drive in a video log. Um, now I'm not actually driving and talking. I'm recording this audio just after I've got back. Um, I was going to go out and do a video log. I took my little GoPro with me, but actually the weather was just so bleh out there and it wasn't particularly warm and I couldn't really find anywhere to park. There was a, there was a car park in the um, the National Trust. Uh, I went up to um, the, the White Horse, uh, but unfortunately I didn't have any money with me and I, it was a pay and display. So uh, it was, although I'm, I'm sure I could have figured out something if I really, really wanted to stop. But uh, in all fairness, no, I just, uh, I just drove through and, and just wanted to go for a drive. And that's because I haven't driven for at least three, well, say two and a half, possibly three weeks. The van's just been sat there. Now I'm going on a long trip tomorrow. I'm going for a day trip to the beach with a special guest friend uh, who I will no doubt reveal in uh, any subsequent videos that come from that trip. But I thought I'd better just have a little drive, make sure Guinevere's okay. Uh, and ready for the trip, uh, you know, make sure I haven't developed any faults or anything. Um, and touch wood, it's all been running beautifully, apart from a tiny little squeak that I seem to have developed in my seat box um, behind the driver's seat. So I hope everybody's uh, having a good uh, January. Uh, my, like I say, mine's been very, very quiet. Uh, I've just been spending a lot of time generally well doing a bit of work also amusing myself um in vr doing a lot of vr now i know a lot of you aren't particularly uh, that enamored by the vr videos but at the moment they're the only thing happening in my life that i can sort of at least point a bit of a camera towards um everything else is just it's just like i say in winter hibernation mode and i am very very much looking forward to uh, the spring the, the nicer when you know when the nicer weather gets here and uh, I'm hoping that I can properly uh, go out and do stuff this year uh, because I, I've just been so um, sort of stuck at home these last few years. So I'm really hoping to be able to make a concerted effort to sort of just get out and about and do stuff. So uh, that's my plan. Uh, it hasn't changed yet and it's just a case of waiting for the weather to break so I can actually go and visit some of these nice places. May even join perhaps the National Trust um, or English Heritage or, or both. How about that? I could, I could join English Heritage, the National Trust, the Caravanning and Camping Club and I could be a proper tourist for a whole year. That sounds quite appealing actually. Um, so I might uh, might have a splash out on some memberships and then you end up with all these booklets and things that come to you well hopefully hopefully it's not all online now um, but you can find uh, things going on locally which I can actually attend go to have a look around point a camera at and have a natter so that would be nice I know a lot of you um, who watch my channel are in America and quite often I get comments from people whenever I visit somewhere They'll say, you know, thank you for showing me this this part of England. I know that I'm never actually going to see with my own eyes. So it's almost like a little bit of virtual tourism for them. And I really enjoy producing videos that have that effect. So hopefully I can I can produce some this year, which should be really good. So as you can see from the uh, the footage, uh, this is dash cam footage from the uh, from the van. Um, this is from Guinevere and um, I'm actually on my way out to a place called Uffington White Horse. I think I've been there a couple of times before in, in really old videos from a long time ago. And I haven't seen it in a long time. I thought it'd be a nice little trip just to have a quick drive out there, have a quick quick look at it, um, and then uh, head on home again. Uh, just like, like, like I said, like a pre, 
uh, a pre-run check before my uh, trip tomorrow. Now Uff Uffington Horse is, is a bit of a mystery. Um, it's a prehistoric hill figure um, and it was apparently formed from deep trenches filled with crushed white chalk. Nobody quite knows who built it or why. Now there, there is a, a small hill named Dragon Hill and there's a patch of uh, chalk there that on which no grass grows and it's said to be where King Arthur slayed the dragon um, if you want to believe that it's sort of the ancient legends um, but yeah it's just in Oxfordshire and um, I'm probably showing you a picture of it now but it has been a bit of an inspiration across the uh, the many many years for you know poetry prose and story and music as well so it's quite a fascinating little place and i think in this summertime or when it when the weather's warmer and it's not just one big muddy bog we might actually go and have a little look at it again um, same as some of the other hill forts nearby i'm very fortunate enough to live not far from what's called the ridgeway which is this ancient prehistoric path or road uh, that runs across like a big chunk of england and it's nearby and all the way along the ridgeway you have these various hill forts and prehistoric monuments and things so there's always lots to go and look at and uh, get a little bit fascinated by so I'm hoping I can actually uh, like I say engage with perhaps some of these things this year I know <laughs> I always set out with the best of intentions whether it actually you know bears fruit this year hopefully it will um, but it is very very easy not to go out as well and uh, so anyway I'm going to try my best this year just really be um, determined also the fact that we <laughs> we seem to be under this um, how can I put it? It, it it seems to me like like at the moment there's this this push right across the world to get us all out of our cars and uh, to sort of change the 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 world as we know it and I'm starting to think you know my days of being able to go out and look at this stuff and, and do this traveling and stuff like that might be um, possibly limited you know I'm thinking perhaps in five five or more years time whether the ownership of a car will even be possible um, bearing in mind what's going on at the moment so um, so there's that little push as well um, because I'm thinking well you know it's it's all very well staying at home and just not doing anything but at some point your ability to go out and do those things may be taken away from you i know it kind of sucks um but uh it there's not a lot i can do about it at the moment um which is you know quite frustrating hopefully that won't come into fruition but that is part of the a little part of the mindset behind all this as well i really need to get out and start living um while i can basically I've also bought a load of um, van cleaning stuff. I bought a new hose pipe uh, because my old ho my old garden hose that I used to use was really quite rigid and every time it, it got a kink in it I would be down to like 0 0.01 bar um, water pressure and it didn't work. So I bought this non-kinkable hose um, and a new spray gun and also a... Um, a foam lance it's like this this thing you, you attach a hose pipe onto and then you use something called snow foam which is like this like some sort of detergent and you spray it on the car and it just, just makes the well the, the van just makes it all foamy and then you hose the foam off and it pulls all the dirt off with it now I used it last year and it was really really good I was I was amazed by the results so what I've done is I've bought the three different types of, of snow foam in three different bottles one of them uh, just takes the general dirt off and what you do is you spray it on while the vehicle is dry and dirty you just spray this foam on and then you, you wait sort of 15 minutes and then hose it off and it pulls all the dirt off and then I've got a, a, a snow foam shampoo which you you spray on as a second uh, course if you like and then that's the one you can actually get a little I bought a new little scrubby brush as well so it's um well it's, it's a, like a very soft it's like this soft brush on a on a long arm extension and it's got these like soft fingers and you can just agitate the foam all over the bodywork and then you hose that off and then I've got this final little bottle uh which is also foam and that's like a high gloss finish 
and the same thing is you 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 put it on as foam leave it for a couple of minutes and then hose it off and it, it's supposed to like sheet the water off um so you don't get any uh like watermarks or anything like that but anyway i can't I, i've been itching to use this thing but because the, the, the weather's been like frozen that we got like overnight frost i don't want to use it because i'm going to turn my my the outside of my house into a skating rink um so you know i'm pretty sure my neighbors aren't going to be thrilled about that so i'm, I'm just going to wait for a slightly warmer weather before i try it out but it does mean i'm going to be going to uh, on this day trip tomorrow uh, with a, a bit of a dirty van but obviously it's going to get filthy anyway when you do a long trip um, so hopefully in this perhaps the next week or so we'll get some uh, some warmer weather come in and I can actually give the van a wash that'd be nice so there we go that's it from Rick Weld just a little catch up really not a lot happening I'm sort of in winter hibernation mode hoping to uh you know get out and start doing stuff as soon as the weather breaks really uh, get a bit of blue sky a bit of sunshine and then uh, hopefully i can start heading on out and uh pointing cameras at things that are a little bit more interesting than the inside of my house <laughs> so uh that's it from me thanks for watching have a great rest of the day uh, feel free to leave feedback in the notes below and i will see you in the next video until then take care